So Leicester won the league and that's all done and that's all pretty easy. But some players, especially England players, still want to do incredibly well in these next two games of the Premier League season because they could, they could get in the England squad. There are some form players out there that haven't been recognised by Roy Hodgson who a lot of people think should. Uh, we're going to talk about it now. Unfortunately, I didn't get the uh, double denim memo, guys. What was, what was that about? You really, he did. He, d he took it off before he got on me. <laughs> <laughs> he, just, he had nothing yeah. in comparison. So. Our first, yeah, I'll put it on, then we'll do our music video. <laughs> the first R&B single will be coming out in, in the next couple of weeks, I think. Uh, so, getting back to the point. Um, there are a few players who Roy Hodgson has missed over the, the last couple of years, and probably some players who deservedly disappeared for a bit and are now getting back in the fold. I'm going to kick it off straight away with Andros Townsend, who mm. has, uh, you know, he's gone to Newcastle, wasn't working at Spurs, wasn't getting those games. Um, and he's done really, really well there, hasn't he? And he's always done well for England when he's played. That's it. Um, even when he wasn't performing well at Spurs, was still playing well for England. Um, I think if he gets left out of the squad, he can think himself a bit unlucky because, as I said, every time he stepped in, he's done well. And now that he's doing well at club level, it must be a real headache for Roy Hodgson. I mean, there's no doubt he's in great form, but if you were England manager, how important is form in picking your squad and how much should be down to a bit of loyalty? What do you think? Mm, loyalty. It's like Ike Casilla still being Spain's number one goalkeeper. Loyalty can only get you so far when there's someone else who's better than you. Mm. You've got to take the person who's in form. That's what people go for going into championships. But Townsend's been... Been doing okay. Like it, it was a cracking free kick the other day, but it's good. Yeah, four goals since he's gone there, which is pretty good. And <sighs> some good goals as well. You seen how you seen how competitive? Like we we did a video on Ball Street. If you haven't seen it, you can go check it out. But mm -hmm. we we did our England squad selector with our midfielders, and we were already stacked with midfiel with midfielders. And Townsend's name was absolutely nowhere near there, and we already couldn't choose. Yeah, yeah but the thing is about it, he's always done well when he's he's really used to it. He's a used to the setup, and when he's playing for England, he's done well. And you know what, some of these other guys that we're mentioning, right, they haven't really done that, you know, we're, we're just going off of how they've been playing for their clubs. And it is a different thing when you play at international level. So and I guess, uh, who's Andros Townsend competing with? Because so we know Hodgson likes him, mm. um, but obviously he hasn't been playing that much. But so his competition is probably Walcott, Chamberlain, Zaha. Sterling. Zaha, well, yeah, I guess you it's could another, go into that. He could be another one, be. possibly. Hmm. None of the, none of those three that are sort of established in the England team are, are doing that well at the moment. No, it, Walcott's had a really poor season. Oxlade Chamberlain's had a mixed season and he's injured. Uh, he's only just coming back. <coughs> um, you know, I've, Townsend's going to have a decent shout to get into in, into that squad. Would you take him? <sighs> no. It's hard. No, no. You know what? After all that, <laughs> I was going to say no, but I, I, I thought I, I'd let you talk for a little I, bit. First. I think he's got. I think it's a real tough one. I can't really say yes or no, but I think he, if if he did go, I don't think it would be a bad move because I think every time, as I keep repeating it, but that that says a lot. Now, every time you're called upon and you're, especially as an impact player. He seems to deliver for England. Yeah. Well, you're, looking, so. you're looking at England's setup, and they're probably going to play. Well, I think they should play with two up front. If they play a one up front, you've got a left and a right winger. Welbeck's probably going to be playing left, and Sterling's going to play right. Hmm. Townsend's only going to play if either of them get injured. But uh, yeah, but that's what the reason why you'd have him because like Sterling probably start because Sterling's done well for England as well, um, even though he hasn't had the greatest of seasons. But if he's not performing, you know that you've got a Townsend who could come in. Hmm. You know, so. And I wonder if you, if you need option. a goal, he seems quite prolific. Of, uh, I mean, he seems quite um, 2D almost. He, either, uh, he goes in, 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 tries to shoot or fakes mm. until he can try and have a shot or does a Cruyff turn. Um, but it does work. And, and maybe against lesser side in, makes lesser impact, side in the Euros, you might make an impact and yeah. get a goal. So speaking of goals and speaking of areas where it's been very competitive, Robbie nearly had a breakdown when we got onto the forwards in those videos that Sam was talking about. <laughs> because we Make have sure you watch that. It's the most entertaining thing that's ever have, existed. Yeah, you need to watch that video. Um, because you, you ha we, had our, we were talking about our strikers and you, we had great strikers there. One person who didn't make it onto that list, who ne nearly did, I guess I think part of it was we were trying to wind you up, was Jermaine Defoe. Mm -hmm. now, I, I tweeted out last week after the Sunderland game that he's got that goal. Is there a more indispensable player than him in the Premier League. If he, you take him out of that Sunderland team, mm. they, they're gone. They're long, long gone, aren't they? 17 goals, it's incredible. 
should he be rewarded for, for what he's doing when you've got someone like Sturridge who, against Swansea, he was really poor? Sturridge has been, his shoulders have dropped, and is something's wrong with his head, you know, for, for a player who's been out for so long to finally get back and fit and then not get picked because you've got a Rigi who's come out of nowhere and really sort of taken the limelight. He looks like he's got a bit of an attitude problem at the moment. And he's still scoring though. Yeah, but he, he doesn't I mean, look, I'm a huge Sturridge fan. No, I, I'm, a bit, I, I'm a big Sturridge. I don't particularly like him as a person, but I think as a striker, he's an excellent, excellent striker. I'm just glad you didn't mention Andy Carroll, because I thought you were talking well, that about that. That was my next name. That was my next name. Fine. We can just, we don't need to waste your time talking well, again, about taking again, Andy you Carroll. Need, well, you need Andy options Carroll off the bench. It's an option, man. No, he's an option. Yeah, I mean, yeah. He's got a hat-trick against you, boys. Yeah, he scored a hat-trick. Yeah, that was easy. The fit. Yeah, all right, here we go. But he's an option, though. You know what I mean? I, I wouldn't say I'll bring him, right? But he he's that type of player that will be very hard to defend against. Because a lot of defences are not used to coming up against players like him. That's it. You know, Option late on in a game you're trying late, to that's it. fight right, to... I, I'll give it to him. Like He gave me a good memory against Sweden when he banged that header in. You know the game where Welbeck scored the back heel winner? The 3-2, I think it was. Who scored? Welbeck, you oh, know that okay. person we sold to, we didn't need him anymore. The one that you guys didn't want to have in the yeah, squad, the right, one that's been not that Man United nearly Arsenal, every right? week. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. towards Man United Arsenal, <laughs> doesn't it? But yeah, United, I'm sorry, not United, you've got me talking about United <laughs> now. England have got such great striking options that I don't think we should be considering Carroll. Yeah, it's, it's something different, yeah, great. No, should he go this is that not tournament football, you need a mix. <sighs> Why should Rooney be in there at the moment? As a, I, as a, United, as a United fan, the way even that he's been playing recently. Well, I'll tell you what, what about this, right? So, often, and, uh, you know, touch wood, it doesn't, doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> but often, a player gets injured. Mm. Gary Neville got injured, uh, David Beckham got injured, Rooney's been injured, Gerrard's been injured. Owen. In the lead-up, Owen. Um, if one of those strikers gets injured, and you can bring in one of Defoe and Carroll, Marcus Rashford... Is he one as well? I don't. I think it's. Um, he would love to go. Obviously, he would. No, no, eighteen year old. Is he good enough to go? He's when you when you see strikers that come through. You know, we've had Makeda's, and then they they go away. Rashford's got the whole package. Um, you can see it when he's got the ball at his feet that he's he's just so comfortable on the pitch. He wants the ball. Mm. Uh, you saw it with his goal against City when he skipped past Demichelis. His goal against West Ham, absolute top bins. He's not just scoring tappings. He's scoring real strikers' goals and a, a good variety of them as well. So if someone gets injured, who would you bring in up front? I'd go for Rashford, you know. Would you? Yeah, I, th I, I think um, he'd be an unknown quantity. He'd be hungry. And I think he'd be a great shout to, to you know, I think he's unlucky not to be going anyway. You know what I mean? Because just that, the fact that he's coming on that big stage, all those teams he scored against as well, They've been big teams. He scored mm. against Arsenal, City in the Manchester derby. You know what I mean? I, I, I think this guy could come in. Defences won't know a lot about him and he could definitely make an impact. And again, he's got that pace and he really does seem to have an eye for goal for me. I've been really, really impressed with him. And I think sometimes you've got to throw a guy in that nobody knows about, that nobody's expecting. And a guy like that, if you could bring him off the bench in certain games... Mm. Definitely, I, yeah, I think he'd be he, your guy. He Sam? would definitely be the person. I, I personally, I wouldn't want to see him go. I just think, you know, he's, he's 18. He'll have tournaments in the future. Yeah, he's I've, 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 country. I, I, want to, I want to protect Why him. Why don't you want him to go? Because I, I want to protect him. Because for what? He, for protect him from what? Just because, you know, he's, he's 18, man. You saw Rooney went to Euro in 2004. He, he lit the stage do you, up. Do you want England to, to win the Euros? Of course I want England to win the Euros. So why don't you want, if, if you've got a player that could possibly win us it, right? Didn't so expect the argument to be this way round. <laughs> no, no, I'm just no, no. asking, right? Because you know I mean? he won't what start, will he? He won't no. start. No, no, he might not. So what are you, prote what are you protecting for? You're because just thinking right. about Man United. No, no, you're right. He won't start. So we've, we've got our strikers. We've got Rooney, you've got Vardy, you've got Kane, you've got Welbeck, and you've got Sturridge, and you've got Rashford. So you're going to take him as sixth choice because he's not, he's, he's not going to get ahead of those, is he? But he you're, Roy, you're, you're, Roy, you're Roy Hodgson. You, Bring you, him along. You take him along. Rod, so You're just let, trying to protect him. Let him just him. chill out in Manchester, he watch Game of Thrones. Just, next season. Just, I just want him to have a rest, man, because, you know, 18-year-olds come and they get thrown straight into a the line. from what? He's only played about seven, eight games. No, he's, mate, he's started like 16 consecutive games since he's come into the side. It's, so what's it's he ridiculous. With, is he, he's 18. What's no, he I, I, don't, I don't want to rest him. I just want to take him out of that spotlight and just let, him, just let him collect himself because he's had a mad year. How would you like to win this Puma football signed by none other than Adam Lallana? Well, you can. It's dead easy. Click the annotation there. Go through to the Ball Street YouTube channel. 
find my five things that Liverpool need to do this transfer window video and just simply subscribe and comment below to win. You've got to subscribe, you've got to comment and you can win this tremendous Lalana football.